This bill, by moving forward, will allow our agencies to know what is coming to them at what year or what time. So right now, we don't really have a good scale or, or telling, telltelling way to know the numbers of people that are coming out of the education system, the numbers of people coming out of D, uh, DCF, the numbers of people coming out of DOC. So this is really a huge component that not only helps the agencies, but at age 14, it brings the parents in or the guardians in to let them know what services are available. So that when it comes time for their, at the time, young one, but then their adult is graduating, there's a plan for life. And through you, Mr. Speaker, I do believe that by doing that, we will deplete waiting lists at a faster pace and we will have less waiting lists because more people will have a plan in front of them for when they age out of SDE and move into services with DDS or DSS with the autism waiver. Mr. Speaker, I really don't have a lot of other questions. I'd like, you know, if any of the representatives have questions. We have talked about this within our, our caucus. Honestly, living this, knowing it, having a brother of special needs, working through his transition program at King Philip School, I get it. We need to make sure that the people of the state of Connecticut, the families of the state of Connecticut understand and make sure that their loved ones are secure and at a good place and getting the proper care. Does this bill do everything for all those special populations? Not everything. Does it get us a pathway to do everything? I believe so. Mr. Speaker, this, this bill has been five months in the workings. And I hope we can take it today, put a passage on it, and move forward and give those families some comfort and make the state of Connecticut one state without a waiting list for people with special needs. 